Step 14 is your considerations about how you're going to sustain the gains and also spread the improvement. What you've got to be careful about is with your project, you might have done very well, but then if you leave the situation, you don't measure it, you might actually find that you've returned to the old level or some new problems being created. So you need to have a plan in place about making sure that you can keep collecting data and that you sustain those great gains that you've achieved. But also thinking about spreading the improvement to like areas and spreading the word of your good project. There are four main practices that you could consider to help make your improvements permanent or sustained in the organisation. The first one is about standardisation of the practices. Secondly, you could document the new practices, so develop up a new policy or guideline. The third one, and which is very important, is about continued measurement and review. So I want you to routinely think about producing more run charts and routinely presenting those to the staff or the improvement team and the sponsors. And the fourth area was about relevant training and education of staff and doing this on a regular basis to make sure that all new staff understand the new concepts that you've rolled out. So periodic audits are very, very important to do in the future. Another really good tool to use is called the British National Health Service Sustainability Model. I would read this and actually do the survey and it will give you an indication about the chance of successful sustainability of your project very early on. If you do the survey and add the scores up, if you get 55 or higher, it means that you're going to be, have, be, you can be quite optimistic about the sustainability of your project. If you get 45 or lower, this suggests reasons for concern. And in the Driver Diagram Starter Kit, I've got this survey in the actual body of the, the um, presentation so that you can actually do this at some stage throughout your um, project. Spreading the improvement, there's a few ways that you can do this, but you really need to have a bit of a plan about how you're going to roll out your project in other areas. So there's a plan of actually rolling it out in like areas where you think it's relevant, but also you want to spread the good news. And there's a few ways you can do this. And that is by actually uploading your project to the ACI Innovation Exchange in New South Wales. Or you could actually present your uh, project at a conference, say as an oral presentation or as a poster. And also around Australia and also New South Wales, we have lots of quality awards, either locally at the LHD or statewide or nationally. And it's a good idea to actually enter your project into the quality awards to get that real spread of the good word. And also you could consider actually writing a journal article. And this is a Gantt chart that is also in the driver diagram starter kit. This is optional, you could use this if you want, but it basically outlines the different steps that you need to go through to develop up your project and when throughout a 12 month period you could do this. Don't forget to download the Driver Diagram Starter Kit from the CEC website and watch these additional short videos. Here's some information about driver diagrams and PDSAs from various YouTube clips and uh, websites from around the world. And also here are some links to some quality and safety websites, both in New South Wales, Australia and internationally. Well, that concludes my presentation about improvement science using a driver diagram. If you'd like to learn more about measurement and run charts and Pareto charts, I'm also going to be running some webinars and there's some taped presentations on this topic as well. And this is all on the CEC website. Please consider following the CEC on any of our social media, such as Twitter, YouTube or LinkedIn. For your information, the references used to inform this presentation are listed below and you may want to either consider purchasing or borrowing some of these books if you'd like to learn more, particularly the three that I've highlighted in these images. This is the end of the session, so please let us know what you thought of this virtual education offering by completing the electronic evaluation survey or by sending us an email. Thank you very much and all the best.